Hey everybody, I'm Ted Thomas and this is a CodeFling tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to add your own roads and rivers. So let's first go to an area where we want to add a road or a river. In this case, I would like to add a river here going up. So let's look at where we want to create the river. Let's select river and then create new path. You can see that we got three nodes. Number two, number one, number zero. So this is the start. And this is the end. Now I would like it to go something like this. So I'm going to select the first node and position it kind of where I want it to go. Select the second one, move it over, maybe move it a little bit closer, and then take number three and move it over even more. And then we can add more nodes. So it says add a node at index. So if we press zero, it will add one over here. And that's not what we want. So I'm going to control Z undo that. I'm going to say number three and then add note. So let's select this, move it over. So let's add another note and let's go more to the right, even more. The smaller the steps you take, the more smooth it will be like these hard edges you won't have if you make smaller steps and more notes. But since it's just a tutorial, it doesn't really matter how smooth it is. Since I want to move it this way, my axes or arrows are kind of working against me. It's kind of annoying to go this arrows. So if you've seen the earlier tutorials, this is a perfect example where it would make sense to grab the green square and drag it only on the two axes that I want to, and then move it up slightly. Something like this. Uh, I would definitely add more nodes in between so you don't have these sharp edges. Once again, for this video, doesn't really matter. Then we have some more options over here. We can change the width. The padding and if you don't know what it is if you hold your mouse on it it will give you a tooltip so this says the amount of flat space on either side of the road which is it's not a road but either side of the river when applying terrain modifiers going to leave this default and then click on add terrain modifiers you can see that because there is still a grass texture over here it doesn't really look proper so let's first add the splat which is the textures and then let's also add the topology that should get rid, there you go. That should get rid of the grass that was going across the water. Let's add the side topology as well. This will spawn food and stuff like that on the sides of the river, like you expect in game. And then we can say finish editing and close. So now we added our own river. This doesn't look very nice. We can either go into the terrain tool, go to smooth, and then adjust the size and then smooth this out. Or if we check what the normal rust do, so let's look for a river. We don't have any rivers on the whole island, really. So let's go to the prefabs. Let's search for a cliff. Let's drag one in and rotate it the way we want to. We don't need it that tall, so let's move it down. Let's add the height mask and the splat and the topology. And now it's a lot cleaner. You could still clean up a little bit around it. The more time and the more you check for little details or things you can improve, the better the end result, of course, will be. Now, to add a road, it's basically exactly the same process. So I'm not going to repeat myself for certain things. Let's look at where we want to create the road. Let's select the paths and then go to road and create a new path. Position it where we want. If we want to, we can also snap it to the terrain. That's the same with the river. Snap to terrain. Let's add another node. Snap to terrain. Something like this. And then once again, we can add the modifiers. So let's do the terrain and also the textures or splat. Apply the topology for the actual road and also for the site. So the jungle piles, etc., will spawn. We also have some road objects to spawn. So if we want to, we can do some substations. You can see it popped this up and we will fix that in a second. Let's see what else we have. Some telephone poles. There we go. And we also can do some more road objects. Oh, I like the sign. Yeah, of course. Now you can harvest those as well. So this one was a little bit wonky. Let's close this. Let's go to prefabs and open up the prefab list. Let's select this. 
and do apply height map. And that should fix kind of. Yeah, I think this is the texture. So let's do apply splat and topology. And hopefully, if this resets. Yeah, there you go. This makes a lot more sense and the terrain is fixed so it's not that wonky. So you can use the combination of the tools and the prefab list and the prefab modifiers that are attached to them to make sense of things even if they are a little bit wonky by default. So hopefully that explains how to do the roads and the rivers. As you probably spotted, there are some more paths, but I will do the APC and the cargo ship in an individual video. Hopefully that was helpful. As always, thank you for watching and good luck with your custom maps.